polynomial. We can categorize polynomial on two bases. First is on the basis of degree and second is on the basis of terms. Now, what is degree? Degree in an algebraic expression is the highest power of variable. Means, suppose we are having this algebraic expression. Then variable is x and highest power is 3. Then its degree will be 3. So, on the basis of degree, we can categorize polynomial in different categories. First is, if degree is 0, then it is called constant polynomial. Example, 7x raised to power 0 and x raised to power 0 means 1. So, it will equal to 7. If degree is 1, then it is linear polynomial. Example, 3x. If degree is 2, then it will be quadratic polynomial. Example, 3x square plus 2x. If degree is 3, then it will be cubic polynomial. Let example, 7x cube plus 3x plus 4. If degree is 4, then it is called by quadratic polynomial. And example is 3x raised to power 4 plus 2x cube plus 9. Many more example you can give. Or if degree is greater than 4, then it is called polynomial. So, now on the basis of terms. If number of terms is 1, then it is a monomial. Example, 5x. If number of terms are 2, then it is called binomial. For example, 5x plus 9. If number of terms are 3, then these are called trinomial. Example, 2x square plus 3x plus 4. If number of terms are greater than 3, then these are called polynomials. All are the part of polynomials. Now let's start our exercise 2.1 in which we will study graphical method to find zeros of a polynomial. According to graphical methods, total number of zeros in any polynomial equations means if any equation is given and if we have to find number of zeros, then it will equal to total number of the times the curve intersects the axis. Means, total number of times. Means, jitni baar wo curve given axis ko cut karegi, utne hi humare number of zeros honge. Let's take an example. First part, what is given? Pi is equal to P of X. Means, we are dealing with x axis and it is given x, x dash, y, y dash. A line parallel to x axis is given and we have to find number of zeros. In this, we have to find number of zeros. Let's, let's check how many times this line is intersecting x axis. Aye, dekhte hai. Ye line, jo ki x axis ke parallel hai, kitni baar x axis ko cut karti hai. If this line is parallel to x axis, agar ye line x axis ke parallel hai, to isko touch hi nahi kar rahi hai. Means, yaha humare number of zeros kya honge? Zero. And in second example, one curve is given and this curve is intersecting this x axis one time. So, in this case, number of zeros are 1. Consider one more example. If this type of curve is given, Now count 1, 2, 3, 4. This curve is intersecting x axis 4 times. So, number of zeros will be 4. That's it. This is our exercise 2.1.